Okay, everyone, this is the next step here. So I have my cardboard loom, the pieces are all dried, my name is on the back, and I have this piece here to reinforce, so hopefully my loom will not bend when I'm weaving. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have this yarn here, and I've already gone ahead and measured about six arms lengths of yarn, and then I cut it. So what I mean by that, when I say an arm's length, like you hold the yarn at the end, and then measure, like go all the way up, way up your arm to your shoulder. So I just measured, it's about an arm's length for me. That would be one arm's length. Then I hold it here, measure all the way up my arm again, two arm's lengths, and keep going till you have six. Six should be plenty, okay? So then once I have my six arm's lengths, I can cut it and I'm gonna start wrapping my warp threads. So people do this in different ways. Um, for us, what we're going to do is you take it so there's a little tail that's about about mm, three inches, and I'm going to put the tail on the back, and then I'm going to come through that first notch. Okay. And before I get going, I actually want to tape that down. So I have my tape here. And I'm just going to tape it down right there. Okay. Now, since I'm right-handed, it works better for me to put the tail through and then have it wrapping, starting on the left and working towards the right. If you're left-handed, you may want to put the tail on the right side and work towards the left. Neither way is wrong. It's whatever feels more comfortable for you. So, there's the tail. I came through here. And I am just going to be going around and around, around the back, around the front. And just make sure you bring it so it's down inside the notch. So I'm just going to go all the way around each one. You may find that some of the notches bend forward just a little bit when you're wrapping it. So just take your time. You want to make sure that this part is done just right so your weaving comes out better. And the whole reason you have these horizontal pieces here and here are to hold the warp threads a little up from the loom so it's e easier to weave. Okay, and that's it. And then around the back, I have my little tail, another piece of tape and I can just tape it down. 